We we'll begin tonight with a breaking news update. American troops targeted in a missile attack by Iran. They fired on two bases in Iraq. Good evening, I'm Nina Sperano. John is off tonight. We now have video footage broadcast on Iranian TV networks. Appears to show the moment Iranian missiles hit an Iraqi air base hosting U.S. military forces. An explosion can be seen in the distance as Iraqi people at the air base can be heard shouting and warning others to watch out and get inside. President Trump did not address the nation tonight, but he posted this message on Twitter saying, all is well, and they're still assessing casualties and damage from the attack, but quote, so far, so good. He also says he will make a statement tomorrow morning. Alice Barr has the latest from Washington. Two Iraqi military bases that house American troops under attack tonight. The U.S. Defense Department now confirming that Iran launched more than a dozen ballistic missiles at the bases. So the fact they've gone with a direct fire attack on a U.S. military base from Iran is uh, truly a, uh, a game changer. The White House saying President Trump is monitoring the situation closely. Earlier today, the Trump administration was out in force, defending its decision to kill top Iranian general Qasem Soleimani. He was a monster, and he's no longer a monster. He's dead. The United States is not seeking a war with Iran, but we are prepared to finish one. Heightened tensions are on full display. In Iran, Soleimani's massive funeral procession turning into a stampede, and Iraq is moving to push out U.S. forces, though President Trump says he won't give ISIS a foothold to stage a comeback. We are not safer now. We are definitely in greater danger. Top administration officials insisting the U.S. took out Soleimani to stop attacks they say were a matter of days away. It's the right decision. We got it right. The U.S. National Security Advisor saying that's based on strong evidence and strong intelligence. Though he would not say whether Soleimani's killing erased the imminent threat, Democrats want proof pushing for that intelligence to be declassified as top congressional leaders get a briefing that some say is long overdue and as Democrats aim to limit President Trump's military actions with a war powers resolution. Alice Barr, NBC News, Washington.